one of the most common questions we get asked is how can we bring in a Skype caller into vMix? For those creating podcasts out there or live shows where they want people to be able to call in, Skype is a very important aspect of those types of shows. And what we did in our May vMix Fun Time Live show is we demonstrated how you can bring in a Skype call with full return video and audio. So return video and audio is so the Skype caller can see what's happening in the live show so that they don't have to watch the stream because it could be on a 30 second delay. Uh, so that was a very important aspect and we set that all up in our live show. So we have a diagram that uh, we're gonna put up on the screen now that goes through the process. Uh, it's, it's pretty simple, actually, when you consider what is actually happening. Through NDI, there's now a whole easy way of bringing in Skype callers. So we have our vMix main PC. So that's our main switcher. That could be a vMix Go, that could be a laptop, that could be a PC, that could be a, whatever you're currently using to produce your show using vMix. And then we set up a separate PC or laptop. In this case, it was an Alienware laptop, and we just installed Skype on it and vMix. Um, so we have Skype, a separate copy of vMix. For this um, scenario, you can use a copy of vMix Basic HD, which is a $60 version. That's all you need installed on the Skype PC. And effectively, what that copy of vMix does is it allows you to bridge um, the return feed from the main PC into Skype. Uh, because you don't need vMix uh, installed on the Skype PC just to bring in the Skype video and audio. To capture the video and audio of the Skype caller, all you need is vMix Desktop Capture. It's a free piece of software. It works with NDI. You simply run that on the Skype PC. You set up Skype full screen, and then you select dis whatever display that is on the vMix main PC when adding an NDI source. And there you go. That's the first piece of the puzzle, and that's what the purple line is in that diagram. That's simply um, the video and audio of the Skype caller coming into the PC just using desktop capture because vMix desktop capture supports capturing the audio of the PC. So you don't need to set up anything or virtual audio cables or anything like that to get the Skype output. So that's the first step. That's pretty easy. Just use, install desktop capture and run it. It's as easy as that. Don't overthink that part. Just run the desktop capture and run Skype full screen. And that's all you need to do to bring in the output of the Skype into PC. Where it gets a little bit more complicated and a little bit trickier is the return feed. Now you could you could just have the vMix main PC uh, send its output, you know, and then or use a webcam or something like that as a return feed to the Skype caller. Something simple like that. You could just turn on the webcam on the Skype PC and have that facing towards the host. You could do it that way. Um, the challenge is with that approach is that there's going to be some audio feedback. So you, you imagine, you know depending on how you're monitoring the audio yourselves, if it's an earphone or maybe it's in speakers or something like that, you don't want the Skype caller to hear themselves because that can get quite um, disorienting. If we go back to the diagram now, we'll describe how to send that return feed. And we're also using NDI for this. So there's two aspects of this. There's the vMix output for NDI and these the vMix audio A coming out of the vMix main PC and being sent to the Skype PC. So what I'm going to do now is, is set up a desktop capture and just show you in my production how you would set that up. Here is uh, the desktop capture of our screen today. So we have a whole bunch of tabs with, with items like that. We have a diagram over here. So if I go into settings and I go into external output, here is where I can enable all the various NDI outputs. So imagine this is your vMix main PC and you want to send the video and audio out of this into your Skype PC so the Skype caller has a return feed. You have to tick the output. So the Skype caller wants to see the output of vMix to see when they're on screen and when you're on screen. And you also want the audio outputs ticked as well. So that's the first step. That will send the outputs and the audios over NDI. Next, you'll want to go to audio outputs and you will en enable one of these audio buses. So A and B are separate audio mixes you can set up in vMix. So that you want to set that up as NDI on A. And then you can go through the audio mixer right here and you can tick all of the audio sources you want the Skype caller to hear 
um, you can tick the A box on all of them. So you'll probably want to tick all of these audio sources with the exception of the NDI source. So imagine this is the NDI source here, it's unticked. So they won't hear themselves. So the NDI source is the desktop capture source from your Skype PC. That'll bring in the audio from the Skype caller. So you don't want to send that back out over NDI using the channel A. Um, the reason for that is so they don't hear themselves. Um, so that's what you do. You just tick all the A boxes of the audio that you want. Um, so if we go back to this here, we can see that we've sent the vmix output and the vmix audio a across and that's where the vmix basic hd license on the skype pc comes in handy you run that copy of the software on the skype pc and you add to it two ndi sources the vmix output and you mute the audio of that source you also should disable the automatic audio mixing of that source in the mixer just in case it gets turned on and then you also add the vmix audio a source and turn that on so you've got the video from the vmix output and you've got the vmix audio a mix coming into that vmix system um, then you need to install vb audio cable or virtual audio cable these is are pieces of software that allow you to send audio between applications on the same PC. So install that audio cable software, go into the vMix settings um, on that Skype PC and go to audio outputs and make sure the master output or the main output is being sent to the VB audio cable or virtual audio cable. And then finally on the vMix side of things, turn on external output. Uh, so external output will create a webcam device or a virtual camera on that PC that Skype will detect um, containing the vmix output from the main PC and then finally you just go into the Skype settings and select as the audio source the VB audio cable and the video source vmix video and you can see the arrows there on how everything eventually gets to Skype you have the video coming from the main PC to Skype you have the audio and then you have everything from the caller coming back via desktop capture. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a knowledge base article. Um, we'll have that as a part of this YouTube video um, as well uh, that will go through step by step on what I've gone through there. So step by step creating a separate um, installation of vMix on the PC to run Skype, to capture it, to bring it in, to send the feeds back. And we'll include that diagram in the knowledge base article as well. So I hope that's that's a, a good overview, um, a bit in depth, but if you follow the steps by step, you should be able to create an amazing Skype production.